What is going on everybody? Welcome to Joe's Garage. So today, uh, I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on what's been going on uh, since the last video I put up. Um, a few things have happened and I just wanted to give you guys an update. So one is I uh, got me a new camera, um, a GoPro Hero. Having uh, Using my phone wasn't working out too well, so uh, having a GoPro and the portability and all the accessories will kind of help out and make some better, clearer videos for you guys. So uh, going over what, what happened, um, I made a few changes uh, across the board with how I'm going to do this process. Uh, I was trying to do this kind of like as if the car has been completely tuned or completely changed and then tuning every single aspect up to the very end of getting an actual or getting actual power. But uh, a lot of the parts are still stock so I didn't really need to change the stock things. I can kind of, you know, calibrate them and, and bring them in to a closer range but uh, don't really need to focus so much on tuning every single aspect of it. So I'm just going to stick with the load calibration, the math calibration and then go straight for power and adjust wherever else I need to adjust as I go and learn and figure things out. So going forward now I have done um, math tuning for closed loop. That's what I did um, since my last video. Uh, I took the car out, put about two hours of driving on the actual car of data logs and threw it into all the different formulas and calculations and blah blah and um, from there should be good I was within five percent plus or minus um, is of zero to get kind of the fuel trims where they're supposed to be at I was running still pretty rich I could definitely smell it at least compared to the old pro tune I used to have um, but it's getting better uh, I still gotta dial it in a little bit more and get some more um, data in there but excuse me driving a uh, Driving around for two hours is it's fun and all, but uh, in the city, in a stop and go, yeah, it works out that clutch and that leg. So uh, what we'll uh, look at now is a map I've been doing for open loop tuning, or at least some logs I've been doing. So I told you before that I had some issues with uh, running rich um, under full throttle. So I think I've kind of found out what might be the issue, um, at least a way to fix the issue for now. So uh, I'll show you some of the logs that from before and after. So this log here, this is uh, this is before. This is um, the one I was telling you about in my previous video. How I was running super rich um, during wide open throttle. Uh, I, at this point, I was running um, using the boost controller up to 18 pounds. But uh, I just want to give you a quick idea. So this is my uh, wide band air fuel ratio in the car, and you can see there's some low not low tens and some nines. Next over is my wastegate duty, or my sorry, my injector duty cycle, and you see that there's a few that are over 100. So that was the problem I was having. And then if you look way over here, you'll see my commanded, which is the second from the right. That's my commanded fuel final. So that's what the car says. Hey, I'm looking to get this number. I don't know if I actually am, but I'm looking at this number. Let's hope it works for it. And as you can see, obviously we're getting nines. So this is what I'm looking at here. These numbers are a lot better. So air fuel ratio of low 10s, um, jet to duty cycle, not quite 100% throttle, but close enough to give me an idea. You know, they're, they're not 100, they're 95, so I, I'm still I'm making improvements. And then you can see my commanded here is around 11 or so. 11, low 11s, and I'm hitting low 10s. So I'm only off by like by one, pretty much. So that's not, that's not bad at all. Um, and to kind of let you know what I did, I did some reading and, and some learning pretty much on uh, how things work. So this is the map sensor, basically this guy here. We've probably seen a few of them. Um, this one was bad or at least was giving me bad readings so I replaced it with a newer one. Basically these map sensors, they have a small little sensor inside and basically they get heated by like one volt to five volts basically, rough numbers. And when they the volts are hitting it, it heats it up. As air passes it, it cools down that, that sensor. The faster it cools, the more constant the volts have to go to keep it there. And basically, as it's, if you're running steady at 50% throttle, you'll have whatever, three and a half volts or something. And that will kind of at least tell the engine, hey, at two and a half volts, you're putting 210 um, grams a second through the air, of air coming into the system. So it's a good way of, uh, of, of um, measuring air when you think about it because you can't actually measure it. So denser air will cool it faster and hotter air will cool it slower, um, requires more air. 
So in the end, it, it doesn't really matter because then you, you get to measure the amount of air coming in just based on that heated sensor. Um, so the thing about that is when you, when you get down and look and think about it, the sensor itself, let's say you want 14.7 air-free ratio. Well, you're not hitting it. Let's say you're, you're running 13.7 and you want to get to that 14. Like, there's a few ways to look at it. The one way that I'm seeing, especially with me running rich, if I am rich at, say, 14 point, or 4.2 volts at 90% throttle or something, or 100% throttle, if I go to that voltage range and see that my air fuel ratio is not hitting my command of my air fuel ratio, if I lower down the grams of air that the, that the engine thinks is being ran through, so let's so say, you know, 310 grams of air, um, if I lower it to, say, 300, then the car is going, okay, look, I'm having getting less air, I don't need as much fuel. Actually, pretty cool when you think about it. So, I did that. Basically, across the three top voltages um, where I was having issues, I lowered those numbers, those uh, grams a second numbers down 2%. And that's all I did. So that's how I got that those numbers to be a little more steady. I'm gonna do another 2% and see what happens there, and uh, do some more runs this weekend and see what I can come up with. But I uh, just wanted to give you guys an update, show you exactly what happened, um, and let you know exactly what happened and what I'm doing to uh, try and try and alleviate any of those issues. But basically, here's the here's the um, math calibrations here. And it was, I think it was 4.41, 4 4.49, 4.57, and 4.61. So those four there, I dropped down 2%. Of course, this is just a very rough way of doing it. Um, cool thing about the Access Tuner is you have the real-time tables. So that's what I'm going to do this time when I go out. I'm not going to make the you know, final adjustment. I'm going to do it as I drive and then watch the logs and go from there. So I'll report back when I get the, with that data there and let you know what, what's on next. For now, take care.